Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. This video is going to go up a little late because I was uh, adjusting my new camera settings. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But we got a surprise announcement about a movie that is coming out that I don't know if it should. But a lot of people seem to be excited about it. So let's talk about it tonight. I'm just drinking good old Bush Light because, well, I'm a poor still and I haven't bought any good beer in a while. But, you know, Bush Light, it's serviceable. It gets the job done, which, yeah. Anyway, topic, let's go. Oh, where's my buttons? Oh, the new camera is so distracting. All right, a surprise announcement. A Constantine sequel is in the works with Warner Bros. Keanu Reeves returning. Uh, this is from IGN. All right, in a very unexpected but welcome bit of good news for DC fans. No. No, that's where you're wrong. No. Not for DC fans, you silly, silly journalists. You're wrong. Warner Bros. is moving forward with a sequel to 2005's Constantine. And yes, Keanu Reeves will star once again as the wily magician demon hunter, John Constantine. Let me read the next paragraph before I give you my thoughts on this. As reported by Deadline, Reeves is set to return alongside director Francis Lawrence and producer Akiva Goldsman. Goldsman is also penning the screenplay this time. The film is also set to being produced by Bad Robots' J.J. Abrams and Hannah Mengela. Don't know how to say that last name. We're just going to go with Mengela. All right, so let's before before we uh before we continue on. I am wondering if Keanu Fever is not overtaking the internet in a way that is going to be detrimental to some movies in the future. I could however be terribly wrong about this. Now, what I mean by that is John Wick comes out and all of a sudden Keanu Reeves is a massive movie star once again because the John Wick movies are absolutely fantastic. I would say the first one is probably the best, followed up by... I don't know if I would go two or three. I don't know. I don't know. I really, really like some of the action set pieces and the way that they move the camera in three, but three really kind of jumped the gun. They're doing John Wick 4, so I don't know about that. But my fear with this is that the Keanu Fever... Uh, Hollywood is misreading some of this, right? We don't, I, I, I love the Constantine movie as a kid. I loved it. I still love it as an adult. Is this good news for DC fans? I would strongly disagree. I think that a much better version of John Constantine was played by a different actor. We'll get into that here in a minute, but, uh, a more comic book accurate actor. And that's something I didn't know when I was a kid. I didn't even know Constantine was a DC property until I was much older. And then when I found out about Constantine and then he had his show, which was canceled because they're dumb. And then um, he did cameo appearance in Arrow and then voices uh, John Constantine in, uh, you guys know the actor I'm talking about. We'll get to that in a second. But I wonder if this is gonna be a good move. The other thing that makes me really sketch about this is this right here, produced by Bad Robots, J.J. Abrams, and Hannah Mangella. The issue that I have with this is we have seen what J.J. Abrams has done with Star Trek, with Star Wars, with other properties out there. I watched Alias all the way through. Actually, and I and I and there was a week where I was, and this was years and years and years ago, I was like, I was sick and like bedridden, like feverish all week. And I was having like fever dream. Don't fall asleep listening to Alias while you're having fever dreams. Dude, I had dreams I was being tortured. It was a terrible, terrible, terrible time. But this worries me because J.J. Abrams, hopefully he doesn't have a lot of say in this. But being a producer, he's probably putting up the money for it. And that means... Most likely, we're going to get some J.J. Abrams interference, or as the my corner of the internet likes to call him, Jar Jar Abrams. Thank you for that one, Nerd Roddick. You are an inspiration to all of us. There's no word on the plot of the sequel, nor whether the actor uh, actors like um, uh, Rachel Weisz, uh, Shia LaBeouf, or uh, uh, Jamon Hansu will return. I am so sorry. I, I am illiterate. I can't pronounce that name. 
I, I do apologize. Constantine Toon will mark the first time Reeves has played the title character in nearly 20 years. Uh, mirroring Michael Keaton's be uh, belated return to the Batman's role in 2023, uh, 2023's The Flash. As recently as December 2021, Reeves voiced a strong desire to reprise the Constantine role. And as long as Reeves, as long as Keanu Reeves has, I'm just calling him Christian Reeves. I don't know. My brain's not working today. As long as Keanu Reeves has a say and has that Hollywood poll like Tom Cruise does and says, no, I'm going to do it this way or we're not going to do this at all. The movie may stand a chance. Jar Jar Abrams being involved in this worries the absolute hell out of me. I love Constantine. No, he is not the DC Constantine, but he doesn't need to be. This is a great Constantine. It's awesome. It's not the DC Constantine. I understand it's kind of loosely based on it and, you know, how they incorporate some of the elements and the themes, but it's not Constantine. And I think that uh, Keanu's Constantine is fantastic. I do not, however, think that this could play out well. I'm worried about it. I'm worried about Bad Robot's involvements. I'm worried about, Jar uh, you know, Jar Jar Abrams' involvements. And I'm wondering, and I understand that Keanu has this really massive fan appeal right now, right? He just, he, he, he can't be touched. I mean, we've been sharing memes on the internet for years. You know, these, the, the, you know, these ladies want to take pictures with him. His hands aren't even on him. That man can't be touched. And he's so good. He can't be touched. He ain't touching nothing. Like he is great. He donates money to charity. He helps his film crews out. The man is just a really, really solid individual when it comes to the Hollywood machine. And I think that that's why people are so excited about this is because it's, oh, it's just another Keanu Reeves movie. I'm less about the Constantine thing, but he is just on fire right now, which is a good thing, especially for a man in his age group. I mean, he's not exactly a spring chicken. He's what, in his, in his 50s now, I think? But what I, the thing that really gets me here, the thing that really makes me wonder if this is a good idea or not is one uh dc uh is definitely not doing anything good this they're probably trying to use this to do some version of a dc um uh, justice league dark or whatever uh because dc movie dc live action movies just suck they always have uh with the exception of i would say the dark knight trilogy and uh christopher reeves that's why i wanted to say christopher. anyway and Christopher Reeves, Superman. Uh, obviously, Superman's one, two, and three. I love. Fuck off. Fuck off with your. Yeah, they're not as fucking. Shut the fuck up. They're they're fucking good movies. But the issue that I have with this is, are they trying to just do this to reinvigorate the brand? I mean, the brand has been decimated during the culture war years. Basically, from 2015 to now, and I mean, I will say this, Scott Snyder absolutely didn't understand Superman. He had a fantastic Superman, uh, or actor to play Superman, and just completely shat on the Superman character. Um, and I think that that is something that we really need to take a look at and how Hollywood might want to be portraying the DC universe. They're obviously getting Keanu Reeves back because again, Keanu Reeves is fire right now, but is that the best decision for doing a Constantine character and marketing it as the DC universe? Because again, I was really young when this came out. Don't really know if this was something that, um, if this was something that, uh, uh, was a DC property when I was a kid. So overall, I am wondering how this is all going to play out. I'm wondering what type of influences is Jar Jar Abrams going to have? Is he going to do to the Constantine movie what he did to S Star Trek and Star Wars and other properties out there? Is he going to try to influence and tell everybody, oh, we're going to mystery box? No, he's not writing it. He's just producing it. But producers have a lot of pull because they got the monies. And so depending on how much Jar Jar Abrams' pocketbook affects this film may depend on the quality, the characters, the acting, and the script itself. I think that Keanu Reeves is a decent actor. I don't think he's a great actor. I've seen him in several films, and he always seems to just be Keanu Reeves, which is totally fine because I think that there are actors out there that just need to do that. My issue is that are we going to be able to get a strong Constantine movie 15, well, let's see, almost 20 years later? It's 2022, so it'll be 17 years later. 
are we going to be able to get a strong Constantine movie 17 years later if Jar Jar Abrams is involved? I really don't know. I don't think so. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. And I look forward to chatting with all of you down there. In addition to that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you like my energy and my personality and how I conduct all of this. And also, it would be wonderfully amazing if you guys really like what we're doing here. Go down, join the Gilded server, hit the application button, and come on over. We're building a wonderful community over there where we're talking about... Oh, just life, movies, comic books, manga, anime, all that stuff. Oh, sharing doggo pictures, sharing cat pictures, sharing food pictures. It's just, it, it's just, you know, life over there with us. So if you guys want to go down and click the Gilded link, that would mean so much to me. And thank you guys so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy, and I will see you all next time right here. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.